this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. Today I'm reading from the Torah and chapter 33. We're talking about the life of Jacob at this point. And Jacob is returning to his homeland um, to his brother Esau. And he just spent the night wrestling an angel. And now he's going back to meet his brother who, uh, when he left, was uh, extremely mad at him 20 years ago. And we'll, we'll see what happens between the two of them at this juncture. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, Esau came and with him 400 men. And he divided the children into Leah and unto Rachel and to the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he himself passed on before them and bowed himself unto the ground seven times unto he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are these with thee? And he said, The children whom God hath graciously given thy servant. And then came handmaids near and their children and they bowed themselves and Leah also with her children came near and they bowed themselves and after that came Joseph near and Rachel and they bowed themselves and he said what meanest thou all this drove which I have met and he said to find grace in thy eyes, my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep thine self what thou hast. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thine eyes, then do receive my present at my hand, since I have seen thy face. It is though I had seen the face of an angel and became Thou hast received me kindly. Take, I pray thee, my present which is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have plenty of all. I urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us depart and move further, and I will travel near thee. And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are a charge on me. And if they should overdrive them one day, all the flocks would die. Let my Lord pray thee pass on before his servant, and I will lead on slowly according to the pace of the cattle before me and according to the children until I come unto my Lord to serve. And Esau said, Let me, I pray thee, leave with thee some of the people that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me only find grace in the eyes of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to serve. And Jacob journeyed to Sudeth and built himself a house, and for his cattle he made booths. Therefore he called the name of the place Sudeth. And Jacob came in good health to the city of Sheshem and the land of Canaan. And he came from Padan Aram. And he encamped before the city. And he brought the parcel of the field where he had pitched his tent at the hand of the children of Claymore and the father of Sechem for 100 Kesata. And he erected there an altar and called it 
El, Elohim, why Israel? Well, Elohim was the name of God before God was called Yahweh. So he called this place El Elohim Wa Israel. Wow, that's deep because of the, uh, the history of the names of God. Uh, Yahweh is one of the names of God. Elohim is one of the names of God. And El is one of the names of God. And uh, that's just fascinating. That I did not know. I'm finding uh, out things and discovering things about Jacob and his journey that are so revealing. Uh, my apologies that it's been a month. It's uh, since my last reading from the Torah. But uh, life has thrown me more than a few curves lately. And um, I will read the next passage. I won't say in a week. I won't say in a month. It will be read when it will be read but it will be read and it will be published on uh, Sunday at five o'clock like it normally is when I read from the Torah have a wonderful and blessed day everyone